here's what happens when a, when a woman goes to the hospital and she's pregnant. In the first half of the pregnancy, she goes to the emergency room where she sees the emergency room physician. In the second half of the pregnancy, that same patient is considered too high risk to see the ER doctor, so they send her up to labor and delivery where now instead of seeing a doctor, she sees a nurse and the nurse calls the doctor on the telephone to discuss the problems. And, and oftentimes the patients never see a physician. The patient can, comes in hemorrhaging, there was no physician available in the hospital. Um, the nurses manage everything until the physician arrived from home, which um, could be 15 minutes or longer. That was one of our challenges. How do we fix that? And by fixing that, I, I think that we, um, it, it led us along the path of creating a program that really does work and sustainable for hospitals, addresses some of the key issues that patients experience, and again, raises the bar for women's health care improvement. I believe we offer a life-changing service to the private community physicians in the sense that not only are we ready, readily available to prevent a delay in care from a medical perspective, but we also give them the security and peace of mind that there's a physician directly ready to intervene um, at any moment. As OBGYNs, you're constantly um, juggling. You're running back and forth from uh, the hospital to the office to home to trying to do things with the kids and the wife, and um, it's stressful. Um, you have emergencies that occur and you need to be there quickly and oftentimes you, you can't be there as quickly as you would like to be. They get so wrapped up in being on call all the time that if we can deflate for two hours or one night or for a week, their need to constantly be by a phone and constantly be attentive to their patients, it really adds to their quality of life. Getting maternal fetal medicine doctors into the community hospital setting um, had been a challenge. The OB hospitalist model uh, that the OB hospitalist group has developed really allows patient safety to flourish. It elevates the, the standard of care for these patients because we allow MFMs to work with us as consultants. They do not have to do the admission of these patients. They don't have to take an order at two o'clock in the morning for Tylenol. They don't have to see the patient every day. They don't have to come in for the delivery or do the discharge. They can act as experts and subspecialists and act as consultants. They can co-manage these patients, make sure they're getting the best possible care, but also knowing that there's very capable and competent physicians doing the day-to-day -day routine that's involved with hospitalization as well. The mission for this company is really to provide superior women's care. Uh, it's not about how fast the company can grow or how much money people can make. It's really they want to set the benchmark for women's care and all the quality initiatives and processes and the time and effort that goes into that take priority over everything else. We don't just practice in labor and delivery. We're there to alleviate the burden of the community physicians in the emergency room for patients who don't have a doctor and who present. We bring a whole wide range of capabilities in terms of surgical expertise that it's going to be hard to find in just a homegrown program. Also, we provide an education role where we usually do once, twice a month, just a, an education session with the nurses, a, a strip review, go over topics just to try to keep everybody up to date. Um, so it's, again, you know, everybody's working on education, collaborating together and working on a, a team approach to patient care. And because you're working with each other so often, it's, you feel comfortable with each other. It makes a, a good environment. Uh, my passion has always been delivering babies and, and high risk obstetrics has always drawn my attention better than anything else. And I spent 34 years doing multiple jobs in multiple universes and what I love about being a hospitalist is I go to work, I walk in, I'm in my one favorite universe, I do the, the tasks that I need to, I can concentrate everything on that one task and at the end I walk out and I'm done for the day. My job is to serve not only the patients, but the community physicians. And if I'm doing something that makes them have more family opportunities and have a better life, I take pride in that and I feel pleased. My role in the hospital is I'm the lifeguard. Um, I'm the one who's always there. When something goes terribly wrong, I'm the one who shows up in 30 seconds. Um, that's the way I'm perceived, that's the way I want to be perceived. 
and uh, it works very well in the model because this way the physicians can be home, they can be at the birthday party, they can be at the Little League game, and I'm there. I'm always there. Patients no longer need to sit and wait in triage for an extended period of time before being evaluated. Um, patients are offered the opportunity to see a physician every time they come to the hospital. 15 minutes can save a life. I think OBHG is outstanding because of the dedication we have to improving women's health care. We bring a passion of service to the whole organization of the hospital. We're there to serve your community physicians, your nursing staff, your administrators, but most importantly your patients.